Okay, we're back again, and uh, I have erased all of my lines, and I have also put a coat of um, glaze medium mixed with some water over the top of it, so that I have locked in all that we have done. I also cleaned up my um, background a little bit. I, if you remember there was a little bit of a line of demarcation. Well, I have a little secret. There's a product called Simple Green and you dilute it down um, very weakly and you can spray it onto a paper towel and then you can use that to clean up. Uh, what I did was I just took my towel, I put it on here and I just started circling a little bit and pulling off a little bit of paint at a time until I got rid of my line of demarcation. You can use that in that instance. You can use it in a lot of different uh, instances. Simple Green is, is uh, a really good product to have when you're painting. So um, now we're ready to put on some color. So this blue right here is the color that my daughter wants. I mixed some blue-gray, some umber, and some sapphire blue. You want to have the, the raw umber there because that's what uh, that's what our background is in. So you want to have that common color. I'm going to mix in a little bit of sapphire blue. Well, actually, a lot of sapphire blue. If I can get it to come out of the, the bottle. I may have to get a new bottle out. <laughs> yeah, likely. Okay, let me do that. Alright. There we go. Got a new bottle. And then I'm also going to use just a little bit of blue-gray as a toner. This uh, blue-gray has um, ultramarine blue in it and sapphire blue has taylor blue in it. So I'm mixing the two blues together. Um, but they also have um, raw umber in them as, uh, well, the blue-gray has raw umber in it as a toner. And then we also have the other raw umber. So I'm going to mix all this together. And I'm going to try and duplicate what I've got here. What I did was I mixed it up and then took a picture and sent it to her in a text and she said that was the perfect color. So I think we're, we're there. Okay. Now what, I'm, what I, I like to do is to put this color on transparently because I don't want to lose the umber that we've got underneath. So I'm going to start out again with um, extender. And I'm going to put this on very lightly. If we go back to our color picture, the entire um, toaster has this color on it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my half inch angle and I'm going to wet it and I'm going to side load it again just like we have been doing. Just going to pick up some of this right here. And then I'm just going to start laying it in. Now all of uh, your work has been done for you by putting on this umber layer beforehand. So really all you have to do is fill in the blanks. 
So I laid that down and now I'm pulling it out, stretching the paint because I want the transparency. Again, I'm, I'm putting in my heaviest deposit of paint at the places where our umber is the darkest and then stretching it out. Let's go around our clock. You should be able to see that I'm just filling in, but yet our value changes are there because we've already put them in with the umber. Now I got out of line a little bit, right there. So I'm going to come back with my good friend, the water, clean brush with water on it, and clean up. Okay. Stretch that out. Reload. Let's come back over here. Now if I go out of my lines here it doesn't matter because I'm just going to stretch it. on my tip for this thin area. I'm avoiding this area because I haven't really decided yet if I want to make it this same blue or not. Come back around with the heel here. And time to clean up a little. I'm going to put some more color down here because I need to show where the clock starts. You have time to do this cleanup because you have extender on your surface. Isn't this cool how this turns lighter when you put dark things next to it? Our, our color that we mixed, our blue that we mixed, goes very nicely with our underpainting, which is what uh, this umber actually is. It's an underpainting because it has umber in common with it. I'm 
Now it's probably pretty boring to watch me paint this entire toaster one color. So what I'm going to do is turn off the tape and then um, I'll come back on with the photo and some last words when I finish. But now you can see um, all the differences in the values how this umber shows through because we put this on very transparently. We put the paint down and then we stretched it. And all of our value changes are already built in for us. Isn't that cool?